Good morning, everyone. Hope all of you all are doing well. Uh, just give me a thumbs up if I'm audible. Uh, am I audible, guys? Just give me a thumbs up. Let's wait for a second more and then we start. So, uh, okay. Thanks. Thanks everyone for letting me know. Okay. Let's start. Good morning everyone. My name is Hemali Malavia. I am head nutritionist and head mentor at LSI. I also head the hormone vertical at Team Luke. And being a nutritionist, uh, I thought uh, the topic which is very close to my heart is kitchen as pharmacy. And I thought, why, let's not uh, do it. Why not do it today? Okay, so before I go ahead with my topic, in case you guys have any questions, you can put it in Q&A chat or uh, in the question section. And I will definitely address it at the end of the session. So talking about, uh, talking about today's topic, um, kitchen as pharmacy. So why all of us know that when we fall ill, we go to doctor, we take some alternative therapy, some medicine so that we can heal ourselves, correct? Being a nutritionist and being a faculty as well for nutrition, uh, one thing that we teach our students and one thing that uh, we also know is the different properties that are present in the different uh, ingredients that we use in kitchen. So I thought let's speak about like, you know, what goes on in my mind when I'm cooking is something that I'm going to discuss with you all. So, uh, for example, uh, like, you know, when you, go, uh, when you have any ailment, you go to a doctor, correct? But I do prefer going to doctor only when I, we cannot manage the symptoms and uh, deal with the root cause at the home level. Just to give you an example, if I have an acne, I wouldn't prefer going to a doctor. I would want to find the root cause. Now, there could be many root causes for acne. For example, I may get acne because my water intake is less. I may get acne because I'm constipated. I may get acne because uh, of the hormonal imbalance. So let's first find the root cause of what we are suffering from and then let's find the solution for acne. For example, if I have acne, uh, I know definitely that my water intake would have been less the previous day. So I would wa want to work on uh, increasing the water intake. If somebody has acne because of constipation, what can I use it from my kitchen pharmacy? I can increase the fiber intake. I can increase the fiber intake coming from vegetables. So I can have a glass of vegetable juice and that will take care of my constipation. But coupled with that, I will also increase my water intake and I will ensure that I am active and I'm sleeping well. So that takes care of my constipation. But if I have hormonal imbalance, then we need to find out the root cause of hormonal imbalance and work upon it. Having said that, uh, what can I do on my skin so that that acne is not that prominent, it's not painful or it doesn't buzz or it's not pus filled. So something that I use from my kitchen pharmacy is something that I'm going to share with you. Two remedies. One is turmeric. So what I do is take turmeric poultice that is uh, take around uh, take one teaspoon of boiling water one teaspoon very less boiling water add uh, turmeric to it and make a thick paste and while that paste is warm apply it wherever you have acne and leave it for five to six hours um, turmeric paste will add this turmeric poultice is something that will actually help in um, decreasing the impact of acne you may want to apply it for a day or two depending on the severity of your acne or depending on how big that acne or boil is but trust me this turmeric poultice works wonders for any kind of acne facial acne and if you have boils on your body then turmeric poultice works wonders you may want to try that second is a uh, club so what you can do is you can soak club one to two clubs at night okay and then next day morning make a paste and apply it on your acne within 24 hours your acne will go so uh, that is the power of kitchen that i mean the pharmacy that is there in our kitchen and that is why uh, 
like I prefer using kitchen as pharmacy and then if the symptoms are still not taken care of we would want to go for doctor okay so that was for acne I'm still on turmeric it's one of my favorite ingredient because it has antibacterial properties antifungal properties and it is also anti-inflammatory in nature so anyone who has inflammation in their system they can definitely look at using turmeric how very simple thing use turmeric in the food that we you that you cook so when I talk about the food that you cook it may be roti it may be sabzi it could be dal whatever you're cooking add one one four teaspoon of turmeric to it now turmeric's properties are enhanced when you add little bit of black pepper to it so when turmeric's properties are enhanced and you want to add black pepper you can add if you don't want to add black pepper you can add garam masala which is homemade and which generally has black pepper in it so it will take care of that anti-inflammatory property secondly uh, what happens with uh, uh, this turmeric is like uh, anyone who has uh, but one thing that i would want to tell you about this turmeric is that don't use it in bulk now that you know that it is antibacterial anti infection i mean anti inflammatory don't start using it in bulk uh, you can use but one four teaspoon three to four times a day that's it third use of turmeric which is again i have used it for many of our clients is uh, when you talk about turmeric uh, what you can do is uh, like dry roast turmeric in an iron pan okay and leave it or fill it in a, a bottle glass jar and if somebody has a dry cuff have that half teaspoon of turmeric and uh, three to four times a day and do this remedy for three to four times uh, three to four weeks or probably three to four days and you will definitely get a solution for uh, your dry cuff this is natural however if your dry cuff is something which is going out of whack then please consult your doctor so that was turmeric as one of my favorite favorite ingredient that i use it in my kitchen and these are the thoughts going on now for example uh, if somebody uh, then there is then I, then there are other ingredients as well in kitchen my second favorite herb is kokum have you all heard about garcinia and how it helps in weight loss yes can i get a thumbs up or so so that i know that all of you all are with me uh, so garcinia basically has uh, it uh, suppresses your appetite and that is why in western countries people end up giving garcinia as a supplement in case you want to lose weight but what is this garcinia in our simple language it is nothing but kokum one of the herb that is present in our kitchen right so how can i use this garcinia what you can do is you can use this garcinia by adding it in the food that you cook garcinia has a very tangy taste so uh, you can add garcinia into the food like while you're cooking your dal or while you're cooking your pulses uh, or while you are cooking your um, vegetables just add one or two garcinias to it while cooking it and it will definitely help you in uh, giving that tangy taste to your food and at the same time uh, garcinia has uh, like uh, it's a it has cooling properties it has anti acidic properties so when you are having dal or pulses there are people who complain of that uh, they have uh, acidity so this garcinia will help you with that uh, acidity also plus what it does is it improves the metabolism fat metabolism it suppresses your appetite and hence it will help you with weight loss as well okay now you may ask how many garcinias can i use in a day so there are people who may be allergic to that kokum because of that sourness you may want to check on it if you get that itching or uh, garcinia local name is kokum if you get that itching or if you get that uh, burning kind of sensation or if there is swelling don't use garcinia frankly people in india have been accustomed to using it so not an issue you can go ahead and use it now this garcinia also has antibacterial and antifungal properties so using it will actually prevent the growth of bacteria or decrease the growth of bacteria if your food is kept for a longer time okay cooked food is kept for a longer time so this is how you can use garcinia secondly there is a very common ritual in maharashtra with garcinia is you take kokum okay one kokum or two kokum soak it blenderize it and then you can add uh, salt or jaggery as per your taste and drink that it has cooling properties this is something that people in maharashtra practice during 
summer season then uh, people also make something called as sole curry which is also very very helpful so this is how you can use garcinia in your food now frankly where have i been using it i add it into the dal preparations that we do we add it into the pulse preparation that we do and we add it into vegetables as well like if we are adding say making vegetable uh, any gravy wala vegetable uh, like pumpkin or potatoes or uh, something sweet potatoes then this garcinia will add to the taste as well and in fact ease out digestion so garcinia is something or kokum is something that we use now what kokum that you can use i generally prefer wet kokum but uh, if you don't get wet kokum easily you can go for dry kokum as well like we have been accustomed to using both kind of kokum and both will give very good results okay but if you are looking at blenderizing it and drinking it wet kokum is a better option okay and it's easily available in market and online as well so you may want to buy it from there so that was garcinia my third favorite ingredient is ginger chili and uh, curry paste so when i talk about ginger ginger has antibacterial and anti inflammatory properties but it has it improves or aids in digestion as well so adding ginger coupled with chilies which has capsaicin which not only has anti inflammatory properties antibacterial properties but it's good for weight loss as well it will add to the taste buds and you couple it with curry and it's an awesome combo which will not only give taste to your food but with it will also enhance the immunity boosting properties uh, talking about immunity boosting properties one uh thing that you can do in which is there in your kitchen that will help you boost your immunity uh, boost your immunity is making a paste of onion tomato and garlic this is an awesome co combo cook it and use it uh, onion when i talk about it's a very good source of sulfur very good for liver health tomatoes have lycopene anti cancer properties antioxidant properties uh then uh, garlic has allicin so this combo not only boost your immunity but it also helps in enhancing the uh, flavor and taste and um, it keeps your immunity in check especially in this season so once a day you can go for it my fourth favorite ingredient i cannot do without is uh, asafoetida you must have heard of it it's nothing but heeng uh, which is present in our normal indian kitchen and we use it in cooking it gives that specific taste to your food but having said that for me heeng when i look at uh, look at from a nutritionist perspective for me heeng is something that will actually help in better or it improves or enhances your digestion so that is why heeng is something that i will definitely use it use it where can you use it pinch of heeng in dal in vegetables or uh, you can add it while you're making a paratha dough or roti dough you can add that heeng in that dough and it will take care of your digestion another property that i use for a uh, use of heeng is like you know whenever kids have uh, like you know they have colic or when they have that pain not only kids even adults i prepare this concoction of heeng which has heeng cumin little bit of ginger i boil it in water okay and i give it to the people who end up suffering from such colic or pain or bloating and this heeng works wonders with respect to digestion so something so people who have bloating issues flatulence issues or who have difficulty digesting food or they feel that you know this particular food is heavy and i'm not able to digest it use heeng in your preparation or alternatively you can drink uh, drink that heeng water at the end of the day and it works wonders another thing that i have been doing with heeng that i have been using is making heeng ka paste and applying it on navel for kids who have colic now this is basically for infants who get colic because of drinking water or uh, drinking milk or uh, mother's milk or other other milk as well this colic works one i mean this paste works wonders like uh, mix heeng with little bit of ghee and rub it on your navel and it will take care of your uh, colic for infants and for bloating uh, we can uh, use it because it will help us in better digestion so this is heeng then next is cumin jeera is something that i have been regularly using it in all my preparations now uh, apart from that uh, when we talk about jeera what you can do is make a powder of jeera 
and have it with warm water first thing on wake up and it will definitely help you in improving your digestion it also has anti antibacterial anti fungal properties and it also boosts your immunity so this is how you can use jeera apart from that you add it while you are uh, preparing the temper for the food or vegetables and it will work wonders so that was jeera then there is something called as club which i personally like it because of this thymol property it is very good for lung health and you may want to use it next is deggi mirch or cayenne pepper very good for lung health has capsaicin and also improves digestion so uh, people who are not accustomed to having uh, chili powder uh, can what you, what you can do is you can add it into the food preparation that you do or alternatively you can have pinch of cayenne pepper with water and drink it so this is how my kitchen is well equipped with all the pharmacy that it needs to deal with day to day ailments having said that um, like you know when i see vegetables uh, say uh, cruciferous vegetables like cabbage cauliflower kale what are the thoughts that come to my mind cabbage is a good source of sulfur it is good for liver health it will help me in hormonal imbalance let me use it broccoli what is the best way of using it steam it add salt add pepper and have it as it it is very good for hormonal imbalance pcod basically and good for gut health better for uh, digestion as well uh, it has uh, properties which will help in healing your gut when i see pumpkin it's a very good source of vitamin a um, when i talk about that i would want to use pumpkin as pumpkin soup or couple it with lentils or make pumpkin sabzi and have it it's good for eyes it's good for skin it's good for hair it could it's good for immunity good for gut health because it's a good source of vitamin a so this is how i think about my kitchen as pharmacy one uh, two pro tips i will give you here which will help you with respect to kitchen as uh, which will help you in enhancing your beauty so or uh, many ladies apply makeup right uh, you may be using makeup remover for it use virgin cold pressed coconut oil and it works as an awesome makeup remover it will not only nourish your or moisturize your skin but it will have no side effects whatsoever so that is how you can use virgin cold pressed coconut oil people who love applying kajal what you can do is you can take a cotton wig which is dipped in ghee okay and burn it and keep a, a vessel beneath it so there is a vessel with uh, like a bowl below it and keep a cotton wick which is burning the blackening that happens over here you can cover i mean you can use it and uh, use it as your kajal which will have no side effects on your eyes this is all simple dadi ma ke nuskhe another nuskha that i would want to give you all for people who have pain during uh, menses is uh, a very simple thing my favorite combo i had spoke about it many a times Re reiterating is combination of banana and raw cacao powder pleasing to taste but right but for me as a nutritionist it's a good source of potassium good source of magnesium which will help in easing out your pain so i would want to go for that another pro tip that i would want to give you in case you have menstrual pain is what you can do is uh, you can take little bit of ghee little bit of dry ginger turmeric and ajwain crushed ajwain little bit of jaggery make kind of a small goli or small coin sized ball and have that for uh, a week before your menses and do this practice regularly it will help you in taking care of your period pain and you may not want to have uh, uh medicines later so this is how i use my kitchen as pharmacy and last pro tip that i would want to give knowing that it's a uh, rainy season and there are people who end up suffering from sore throat cold cough etc is uh take gram flour or chickpea chickpea flour roast it in ghee add jaggery black pepper cardamom and turmeric make this as a uh, add water and make this as a slurry uh, call it as besan ka sheera as well and works wonders for your cold cough and in case you don't feel you don't have an appetite you're feeling low uh, besan will not only give you uh, good protein but uh, jaggery will give you uh, uh, carbohydrate 
and turmeric and black pepper will work on your throat so this way uh, will help you with taking care of your sore throat and it will give you enough energy as well so these are few tips from my end uh, let's open it up to question and answer round and i see many questions that have been asked uh, let's quickly address can you repeat the ingredients of the goli dry ginger ajwain ghee jaggery turmeric okay you can make this as a goli and you can use it yes definitely we are going to save the live uh, you can see our live on the ucare page uh, i have repeated the goli for you all uh, then there are uh, yes we will save the live then there are other things uh, other questions as well uh, just one sec huh? i uh, what is the importance of clove is one question that i was asked so clove has something called as thymol which is very good for lung health but having said that don't have more than one to two cloves a day okay so all these kitchen ingredients that i spoke about have to be used in moderation you cannot have it in tablespoons as well okay so clove has thymol which is very good for your lung health what i do with clove is when kids have or we elders also end up suffering from cold cough fever uh, we add this clove ginger and turmeric to water boil it and drink it as uh, it has very soothing properties and it also relieves that phlegm so if you have too much of mucus you can do this uh, so that your body can throw out that mucus from your system there is one question on is excessive abnormal pot belly fat due to hormonal imbalance this is when rest of the body is fit yes excessive abnormal pot belly can be because of hormonal imbalance or it could be because uh, of indigestion bloating etc so you may want to check on a uh, deep dive on your lifestyle get the reports done and then take a call so there was another question on uh, just one sec can you tell about various anti cancer foods uh frankly uh when we talk about anti cancer food there is nothing like anti cancer food we look at food that will help in improving immunity okay so like ginger turmeric garlic cruciferous vegetables i mean for me entire kitchen is a pharmacy and entire kitchen has anti cancer properties if used in right way so i'm not talking about sugar over here or i'm not talking about processed or the junk food but i'm talking about the herbs like turmeric uh, garlic ginger star anise uh, uh, for that matter asafoetida cumin all of the tom tomato onions uh, cruciferous vegetables all of this has anti cancer properties if used in right proportion is it important to eat something in the first half of the hour after waking up uh, dipika uh, when you talk about importance of eating something i would say listen to your body if you feel you are hungry and you cannot stay without food go ahead and have it uh, for people like me we are good not eating for 5 hours even after wake up i would want to not eat then so take a call listen to your body and take a call okay then there is a question on vegetables uh before that there is one more question mouth ulcers just before or during periods what to do so this mouth ulcers just before or during the periods could be because of hormonal imbalance having said that what you can do a very simple thing is keep yourself hydrated second is apply organic a to ghee very little ghee wherever you have ulcers or you can apply virgin cold pressed coconut oil also both of them have antibacterial properties and it will help you but we may want to deep dive a deep dive on the cause and then uh, take a call but these are very simple remedies that you can try uh, try for sure so there was one question on vegetables is like when you cook uh, the nutrients in the vegetables get lost so yes definitely uh, when we cook the nutrients in the vegetables get lost or uh, they are lost so two simple tips that i would want to give you is don't chop the vegetables and then wash it like this is a normal tendency that people cut the vegetables and then they wash it in water you will lose all the nutrients so wash your vegetable thoroughly from outside then uh, cut it and then cook it while cooking what you should take care of is you cook it at slow flame not at high heat not in pressure cooker and you are taken care of another question that i get is how can we use star anise 
so star anise basically if you all use uh, you all make biryani or if you all make uh, vegetables it's a quite a normal and a common part of uh, garam masala that we make it it enhances the awesome flavor having said that star anise is also also awesome when it comes to uh, lung health when it comes to mucus so what you can do is you can soak star anise in water next day boil it or brew it and drink it if you have too much of phlegm and it will help you with mucus sore throat fever etc so another tip because i'm talking about fever and there is a viral fever going on what you can do is for your kids you can soak methi seeds and next day i mean soak methi seeds for 5 to 6 hours discard that water re soak it at night and then give that water to your kids and it will help in improving their immunity specifically with fever i know kids are not open to having drinking this methi water but it has something called as quercetin which helps in improving immunity so this is how we can use methi water for fever as well so guys that's it from my end uh, in case you have any more questions uh, uh, any more questions please put it up can we give all vegetables after delivery i'm sorry i didn't get your question vrinda on vegetables after delivery so yeah that's it these are the few questions that i had uh so see you all till then take care be brief move more eat right and sleep well take care bye before i end this session in case you have any queries you can reach out to me on my instagram handle himali malavia and uh, i will definitely ensure to answer your questions take care